All right, so this month, as we know, is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, right? We see everybody wearing the pink, we see the football, everybody's got the pink gear on. Well, I wanted to be able to um, kind of honor those survivors and those people affected by this cancer. And I actually had the perfect set that you know I've had for a long time. I really haven't got to put use, good use to it, which I guess is a good thing in a way. Um, but I thought this would be a beautiful project to honor those people. Um, it's using the Ribbon of Courage stamp set, which is absolutely gorgeous. I wanna tell you, the thing I love most about this set are the sentiments because you can use them for anything. Um, with faith, all things are possible. Gorgeous font, I love that. And then this one, live every moment, laugh every day, love with all your heart. Words to live by, right? I just love this sentiment and I use it in, our, in the card that I made today. And then um, sending love and hugs to you and courage. So really these stamps could be used for anything and I just love if you wanna do some fun coloring, you could do some coloring with these pretty images. Um, and it doesn't have to be just for breast cancer, it can be for any Cancer Awareness Month um, in any color. And then it comes with these framelits that cut out two different sizes of the ribbon. So you can see, oh look, I left a little piece in there. Um, two different sizes of the ribbon, it's got a pretty flower, a pretty decorative flower. Two different sizes of the heart, which also cut out the images. And then a pretty little leaf pattern. Um, which makes a nice little leaf. So we're gonna use some of these elements today as well. Let me show you the special thing about this card. Love and Hugs is lovely. Yes, Janie, I know, isn't it so neat? I love this set. And I have, in my blog, there is a project sheet, a link to the project sheet, and it has everything that I used with item numbers and prices. If you ever wanna see something um, to see like how much it costs or you know um, what I used for the projects. So this is my card. And I, it's, it's special because um, it's accordion style. So let me show you. You just open it, oh, like so. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you can see the whole thing in the camera. Um, it might be too big for the whole, the whole thing. But I thought this was so sweet and it's, um, I used the gold shimmer paper. Isn't that pretty? I love this. So this is an accordion style. And oh, no, I'll show you something. I did. I did screw up. Um, <laughs> the first time I made this, I glued the ribbon down behind this piece of paper, and I'll show you how I did that. But I also glued the ribbon down on the back side. So this one's kind of screwed up. This is my sample one. But I just want to show you guys. You know, it's a learning curve, and I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> I'm human. Um, but I had glued this down and you can imagine why this might be a problem is because when you try to accordion open it, if the ribbon is stuck under the paper, it won't open. So you actually have to have the ribbon free to open it all the way. The other thing I wanted to point out is that I used envelopes. You can see I have attached each piece as an, like it's an envelope. So this is made out of four envelopes and I actually left the envelopes unsealed as pockets so that you could put a secret little message or add some pictures. So there's three different pockets um, inside that you could use. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna stop talking. What we need to start with is four envelopes, like I said, so I'll show you how we put these together. So I love Stampin' Up's envelopes. I don't know if you guys have ever compared Stampin' Up envelopes to standard regular envelopes you can get at the store, but the quality and the material is just superb. I mean, it. once I use a Stampin' Up envelope, I can't go back to the <laughs> cheap store envelopes. Um, I. It's just, ugh. And when I try, like, when I try to cut corners and use envelopes that aren't Stampin' Up, I just cringe because it's just not the same quality. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put adhesive on the entire um, flap. And you can you could lick this and seal it, but I'm just gonna be lazy and I'm gonna do um, uh, fast views all across this um, flap. And so you're gonna take the end of your other envelope and you're gonna line it up with that seam, with that score of where the top flap ends. Just line that up as best you can and glue that down. And then you're gonna continue doing that. So you're gonna do the next flap 
And you can see how I've, and that's how those pockets are created because I've left that side open. Oh, thank you, Terry. See, I want to be like you someday and maybe make a mini album some point. <laughs> so you could turn this into a mini album, I guess, if you wanted to um, share somebody's story, you know, if um, they are a survivor and um, they want to remember um, their story. They probably will never forget it, but um, this could be something special that you give them. Um, some people like to keep those memories, you know, and document their life. So this would be a cool little start to that. Okay, so now I've got the four connected. I have this one last flap, and I'm actually going to glue this down. You could cut it off and create another pocket. Ask Terry. She's, she would tell you. She's the expert. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it down. I'm fine if it has three pockets. You don't even have to have pockets. You could just glue the paper down directly and seal them off. Um, but I liked leaving the option of a pocket open, so in case you did want to put something in there or do a little message, because there really is no place to do a message um, in my original. I mean, you could write on it, but it'd be cool if there was a little pocket with a little ribbon that you could pull out. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Um, the other thing that... So once, you, once you've once you got these glued down, you're going to kind of fold accordion style. So this center one, you're going to fold up. So you're going to bring it up, and then you're going to lay it over, and then the top goes over like so. So this is that kind of base of this card. And I apologize for the shakiness. Um, in the transition of moving my craft table, I have lost where I used to mount my camera. And so now it's attached to my table. So anytime I bump it, move it, anything, it shakes the camera. And that's something that I'm, I'm going to work on. But so I apologize. I hope you guys will bear with me. I know it's kind of annoying. Um, so for my original project, I used the Brights designer series paper. Six by six designer series paper in polka dots and stripes. So there's the polka dots and then here's the stripes. Um, as I was making the project, I realized that I used up the last of this designer series paper. So I was like, oh no, what am I going to do when I make my next project live? Um, so fortunately, um, I actually had a package of our Tropical Chic um, designer series paper. And it, as you can see, has lots of pretty pink patterns on it. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and use that. And so this project is using Flirty Flamingo and Powder Pink. Um, and this project that I'm going to be doing today is going to use Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Let's go ahead and get our pieces out. Um, I cut down some of the designer series paper already. So I've got a piece of the stripes, a piece of the polka dots, and somewhere in this pile I have this pretty kind of washed, kind of, I think it's like painted look to it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece. I cut this piece smaller. It's um, three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of Blushing Bride cut down to four and an eighth by five and a half. So it's just slightly bigger, and we'll just do that as the front of our card. Um, I cannot glue this down until I have my ribbon, so I need to get my ribbon out. And this is the ribbon that I'm giving away for my raffle. Um, this is that mini, chef, mini ruffled um, ribbon that's absolutely my favorite, favorite ribbon. It comes in the five in colors from last year, um, and it's super, super cute. And so this is actually in powder pink, but I think it goes really well with the Blushing Bride. So I didn't think it was a problem to mix the two pinks together. What do you guys think? You think it's okay? So um, I am going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this around my project so that I know that the sides are even. And then I can glue my piece down and I know that I have enough ribbon on each side of my project so that it's even. Um, so I'm just gonna tie Tie a ribbon, tie a bow, like so, okay? And so once I have that tied, then I can kind of know that, oh, okay, I've given myself enough um, ribbon to be able to glue this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these pieces down. I love the, the 
granny apple green um, that goes along with the um, blushing bride. The Tropical Chic Designer Series paper is probably one of my favorite packs. Um, it's really pretty colors and designs. And like I said, you can use this um, cancer, well, it's called cancer awareness, but it's the ribbon of courage. You could use it for any of the months, um, not just um, not just breast cancer, not just pink, because um, all the cancers have a color related to them, right? And I just thought this is a special way to honor those those people that have suffered and survived or maybe even the family of the people that suffered you know that affects it affects everyone um, so anyway so you can glue that down to the front now that you have your ribbon there and then you can untie it and you can continue working um, but that just is, helps with the placement of where you need that ribbon okay so the next thing I did um, we're going to go ahead and finish decorating the front. As you can see, I used that. Oops, sorry guys, I'm like bumping everything. It's just shaky. We're going to shake today. Um, but as I um, was doing this, I used that sentiment. I just love that sentiment. It has nothing to do, um, I think, with cancer. I just think it's a very beautiful um, words to live by type sentiment. So I have a piece of Whisper White that we're just going to stamp the sentiment on. And I used um, Flirty Flamingo as my ink um, because it's brighter than the light pink and I wanted it to stand out. So I have that here. And I need a block that has my plastic cling on it because this is, because I, I put my stickers on my stamp so I need that plastic cling on my block to help it stick. And get my ink and I'm using that one of my favorite punches which is the um, everyday label punch I use it all the time I love it and go figure I didn't take it down from my shelf so I've got to get up and grab it real quick and it's just right here so it's quick it's within arm's reach here all right so here's my everyday label punch and I'm just going to line this up and punch it out like so and then we need to cut out a little bit some little pieces but I want to stamp a couple of these little pretty hearts these decorative hearts I absolutely love them so we're going to um, stamp some of those real quick and I wish there was a little framelit for the flower I guess it wouldn't be too bad to fussy cut out but that's a cute little flower too I like the little patterns so what I would like to do um, is if you guys have anybody that um, you think would enjoy this project, I would like to give it to one of you to to give um, to someone special that you can think of. I, like I said, fortunately don't have anyone that I know personally in this situation, but um, I would love to um, to send this to somebody who could use it and put good use to it this month. So if you have somebody in mind, um, please let me know. You can private message me or you can message me here and um, I would be happy to send them to you so that you can honor them. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is cut out our hearts and we're gonna cut out a little ribbon and we're gonna cut out a flower. So I have um, Blushing Bride and we're going to get our framelit pieces and we're going to cut the flowers the heart and the little ribbon like so. So I'll get my big, my big, big shot. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that twice. Okay. Oh. oh, he's a brain. Oh, that's Susan. Well, thank you for sharing. Yes, I think um, I agree with you. I think it goes with any kind of awareness. Um, I think this is a fabulous set. This is actually one of the sets that um, was designed by, I can't, I can't remember her name, I'd have to look in the um, catalog. It's in the annual catalog, um, but she's a million dollar earner. And when you're a million dollar earner, so in the lifetime of her selling Stampin' Up, she has sold a million dollars in product. And Stampin' Up invites you to their headquarters and you get to design a stamp set. 
and she this was close to her heart because I believe it was a personal battle that she went through and I'm having a hard time lining that up um, but she this meant a lot to her and this was important to her and I think um, she oh Patty Bennett thank you Karen Patty Bennett uh, Patty um, stamps I think is pattystamps.com I think is her website and um, yeah, she designed this stamp set, so it's special. I think it has a lot of special meaning, and I, I didn't want this month to go by without, um, without honoring this. This is this is something that needs to be, to be honored. Those survivors go through a lot. So I cut out the hearts, so now I'm going to cut out the ribbon and the flowers. And I don't wish this upon anybody. I tell you what, cancer is very hard. And I do have family members that are survivors of cancer are battling it now. And um, it takes a toll on everybody. That's, I can say that for sure. So I'm just cutting out this flower and this little baby ribbon. Hi, Evelyn. And I'm using my, you guys can see this, can you see it in the camera? My little foam and my dye brush to get all the little pieces out of my flower. And my little ribbon. Did it come out? There we go. Okay. Now we can move this guy out of the way for a short time. We'll have to bring him in. There's a lot of framelit work on this project. There's a lot of um, different pieces, so I'll show you that. So we bring back in our original and this guy. And so we're going to glue this down. And um, I just use, I just glued it straight down to the card with some adhesive. Try to make sure that it is straight. I've got my little heart pieces here and I have this pretty flower that I'll put in the corner here and then the ribbon. And I probably should have cut this out in the darker pink so that it stood out a little bit, but that's okay. That's good. So I'm going to get some liquid glue and glue this down. And then this one's about done. I need to throw it away. Do you guys do that? You're like in denial with your glue and you're like, no, it still has. <laughs> I'm like, really, I need to just throw this away. That's where I'm at with that glue. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that in the corner there. And I'm going to put one of these pretty, pretty, pretty little um, pink rhinestones that we have. They're new this year in the catalog. And I'm gonna put that in the center of my flower. There we go, got my little ribbon. So I have those pink rhinestones here. They come in like four different shapes. I think it's so cool. And the fattest ones, they fit right inside that flower perfectly. So. There we go. I'm just reading your guys' comments. Rhonda Palmer, I didn't know orange was for MS. Oh, very, very cool. I, um, yeah, there's colors for all of them. I should probably look that up and post it. Because you could do, I'm telling you, you could use this stamp set for every month. I think there's a cancer awareness every month, right? So there's your front page. Oh, pfft. hey, how about we glue down the hearts, you guys? So, funny story. Um, my daughter had homecoming last night, and um, I am not a night person. <laughs> I'm a morning person, obviously. I get up at the crack of dawn to craft with you guys, but um, I have a hard time staying up at night, so I struggle with this. And um, she uh, went to homecoming, which was, she had a blast. But I tell you what, I woke up this morning with a headache and felt like a bus had hit me, and it felt like I had been out partying at homecoming all night long. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is backwards? Why the heck am I feeling like this? <laughs> So I just thought that was funny and I would share that, oh my gosh, I woke up and I was miserable. Okay, 
Um, so I have these two other pa pretty patterns, which I think I'll want to play with. I have um, some pieces cut out already. As you guys can see, I need to replace my trimmer blade. Um, I was cutting those. I don't think I want the flirty flamingo in here. I think it's too, too bright. But I think that um, maybe if I alternated the pattern and the solids, I think that would be cute. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of winging it. I'm just kind of going with it. If you guys have opinions or you want me to do something, let me know and I will absolutely do and we'll try it out. Um, but you can see here, this is what I did the first time around and this is kind of what I have going. Um, so I cut out the layering ovals and I cut out the shimmery gold, um, letters and the, um, pretty, um, the ribbon. And then I also found that I had, um, you see how I found. Did you know that we have colored doilies in the catalog this year? And they come in, I believe, three or four different colors. They're four different colors. There's um, grape, Grapefruit Grove, Flirty Flamingo, Old Olive, and Bermuda Bay. So, very, very cool. Um, and so I was like, ooh, Flirty Flamingo. And I took one of these pretty guys and I um, put the put the ribbon be in front of it. So that was kind of neat. So let's go ahead and I think what I'll do is I'll take um, one of the solid pieces of Blushing Bride and I don't know if you can really see this but I stamped the word courage as the background for this piece. So we'll go ahead and do that stamping. That is actually the only other stamping we have in this card. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that before I glue down because it's going to be hard to do that after everything is glued down. So get my stamp set. Where is my stamp set? Oh, I have the sun right in my eyes. Hello, sun. Right shining through the window into my eyes. That's awesome. It's a whole new setup, so it's um, a learning curve. So I'm stamping the word courage, and I'm stamping it on a piece of Blushing Bride, and I'm going to be doing it in the same color, Br Blushing Bride, because I don't want it to stand out too much. I want it to kind of seem like a nice um, background piece. You can make a cute mini album. Oh, Amanda, you're just like your mom. She said that just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Oh, that's very dark. So my Blushing Bride ink is very dark compared to the powder pink. But that's okay. I think it looks cool. We'll go with it. So I'm just kind of um, staggering the words along. This doesn't have to be straight. It obviously isn't. I'm not a straight stamper unless I use my stamparatus, but you get the idea. We're just going to kind of stagger the words across the page. And, it, and I guess in a way we're kind of creating our own um, DSP, right? Yeah, it's totally crooked, but that's okay. Once we have our... Um, Once we have our, what am I trying to say? Our oval framelits and our letters, it'll kind of fade into the background a little bit, I think. I'm gonna actually have to close my blinds. I can't see. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> I was going blind by the sun. It probably made this a lot darker in here for you guys, I'm sorry. I'm not complaining, I love the sun. I'm, I welcome the sunshine as long as I can get it because in the winter time it gets really dark. Really dark here. Oops. Just trying to clean these stamps off. A little squeaky squeak. So we're just rolling with it, you guys. We're just gonna wing it today. We're gonna make this pretty card. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different from our other one. Only because I didn't have the same designer series paper, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I just wanted to show you guys this cool kind of way to make this card um, using the envelopes. I thought that was fun. I've never done one of these before. Um, and I kind of just, I was just winging it. Okay, so there's that. And then I have my glimmer. I'll, well, let's go ahead and cut out our letters with the glimmer paper. Oh, I just heard a framework fall. And look, I had my little heart. So we're going to cut out the letters and we're going to cut out this um, ribbon in the gold. I know, squeaky, squeaky, shaky, shaky, Jenny. I'm just a hot mess today, I tell you what. Um, 
it's going to be in a little bit of an adjustment with this change and I'm going to have to figure out how to um, mount this camera so that it's not attached to my desk because now I'm in front of a window and there's really nothing to attach it to. Okay, so I'm getting my big shot back in. I'm going to put these letters. I have H, my ribbon, the letter P, and letter E. Sorry. You have a reflection <laughs> on my uh, mat. We could see your reflection in the glass mat. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Lordy. Hey, we're learning all kinds of things. Okay. So I'm going to set these over here in my tub. I have a little tub with all the framelits so they don't get lost. I can put them away later. So I'm just taking out these letters. And if the reflection is too distracting, let me know too. And I can lay down a piece of paper or something. So I have my letters. And now, I don't know why I put my big shot away. Because I still need to cut out some pieces for the ovals and the stitch. I have them out already. Because I didn't want to dig through the framelit. So I have the scalloped oval, which is slightly larger, no, slightly smaller than the outside piece. So you can see that, how it slightly overlaps so that you have a, a thin white border <clears throat> over the scallop. And then I have a stitch circle, and this goes around the um, doily. So we'll go ahead and cut that. So the white ovals and the stitch circle are in white. And then the scallops, are in pink and what do you guys think should the scallop circle or scallop ovals be in flirty flamingo in the darker pink or should they be in the light pink because all of my background pieces are light pink so I don't know and then the, the doily is going to be in flirty flamingo so I feel like maybe it should be in the darker color oh a baby album card Karen that's a great idea See, you guys always have the greatest ideas. Did I get any volunteers for the card? Would anybody like the card to give to someone special? Does anyone know um, a survivor or someone that's struggling with this um, that would like a card this month or any month? I'd be happy to send it to you and share the love. let me know and maybe you private message me and I'm totally okay with that too I will check my messages as soon as I'm done here okay but you're not getting my sample because the sample one I screwed up on remember <laughs> or maybe you want to make your own and make it personal that's totally fine too however however that works oh gosh I wanted to put my big shot away what I need to do is cut out I already have one cut out so come on I already have one cut out, so we are ahead of the game. So I'll just cut out two more. What do you guys think? And the yeah, I think it should be in the dark pink because it will kind of pop out a little bit more than the light pink. We'll go with it. That's pretty. But yeah, I'm seeing baby card now that you said that, Karen. Definitely could be a cute because B A B Y is four letters as well. I'm just barely catching on. It's it's early morning still. Karen, you should make one of these. Now you know. Yay. How exciting. And now Evelyn's getting a grand, a new, brand new great grandbaby too. Oh, Tammy has one. Okay, see I didn't, oh Tammy, I just, oh Tammy, yeah, let's send it to, let's send it to them. I will get it to you. And let us know if she needs any other cards or encouragement or treats or anything just to distract her from from that battle sometimes you need a good distraction like some good wholesome crafting 
that was me last night. To keep me awake last night, I needed some crafting. So I got out my paper pumpkin. I completed like two to three paper pumpkins last night. I was so productive. I was on a roll. Okay, so we've got our letters and um, we've got our pieces here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these together and then we'll kind of add on to it as we go. You guys notice that I like to craft on the fly without a real plan? It's kind of scary. I don't know if that bothers you guys. <sighs> it's kind of my life. After I, I had started this project, but I'm going to be honest with you. I did not have it fully um, designed or finished last night at about 7 o'clock. I finally sat down for the first time in the day because I had been running around town, shopping, getting Jamie ready, doing my card class, everything. And so, and it was also my nephew's birthday. So as soon as I dropped Jamie off for her homecoming dinner, I went over to my nephew's house. So that stuck down real good, didn't it? Okay. Um, so anyways, I'm at my nephew's birthday and I sat down next to my husband for the first time. And <laughs> I said, uh, he goes, do you want to go home? And I was like, not really. I just want to sit down. And then I said, oh yeah, uh, don't have anything for Facebook live ready. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I still need to do that. He's like, well, let's go home. So last night from like 7:30 to 9.30 is working on finishing this and then working on my blog and then after I finished that I worked on my paper pumpkin. So <laughs> no wonder I feel like I, I was out dancing all night long and woke up with a headache, huh? Oh, I am all kinds of crooked with this. That's the downfall to putting fast views on a project. It gets crooked. And you can't adjust it. They did have a dinner, yes. So um, they went to a friend's house and the mom of, of the friend, she made this beautiful chicken Alfredo dinner with some fancy French um, dessert. And, and then they all went, there was like six of them. They all went to homecoming and um, it was at the Moore Mansion, which is this um, historic house down by the river apparently it was the dance was all outside which it was freezing last night and I guess they had like a little fire thing going where you could warm up but it was all outside and all those girls in those sleeveless dresses and stuff I can imagine Jamie was frozen by the time she came home um, but she had so much fun and uh, yeah she looked beautiful it was fun to dress up for a day you know and get your pictures taken and I just happened upon that location where I took her pictures last night. It was a beautiful background. Um, but I was actually dropping her friend off who did her hair. And um, she lives out by the sand dunes in Pasco. And there's this just beautiful backdrop of these trees and they're all their fall co colors. And so, um, yeah, we, we pulled over and took pictures. It worked out. And the sun was setting, so we had a nice backdrop. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. And um, you can see in my original project, I did a lot of embellishing, so we'll do that next. Um, what I wanna decide though is, do I want to do um, some, some sort of band along, um, this one I feel like it needs to be horizontal. I could do the stripes, but that's kind of, eh do this one but it's kind of also eh. let's see what if we did we, ha we have flirty flamingo we could do that polka dots seem kind of busy though don't they what about the stripes what do you guys think do you like the stripes the polka dots I kind of like the stripes but is it too much next to these stripes Is the doily too much? And you know what else we could do? We could stamp that pretty heart or the flower in the background of this paper as well. No stripes and stripes. Wow, that's quite the celebration for homecoming. Maybe stripes long way. So these ones, maybe this way. Do 
Tammy says polka dots. Like that, like so. Does that look okay? It's for Tammy's friend, so maybe we should do Tammy's suggestion, huh? Let's go ahead and do that. It's cut at four and an eight, so let me cut that down real quick. Oh, Terry, that's a good idea too. Can make her a little mini album for her homecoming. Oh, I guess the theme was fairy tale. I don't know if she looked very fairy tale, but she looked very grown up. It made me like, ooh, don't grow up anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue, get these things glued down. So what I did um, to keep these little pockets is I just put adhesive along this that edge, just did a thin line. And then you can just continue doing adhesive. Just make sure you don't get too close to the edge. Um, and I'm just doing a real thin line. And I need to get my other liquid glue, so I'm not doing this all the entire time. I have a brand new bottle, so I don't know why I'm playing with that. Okay, that's better. And we'll just glue that down. There we go. Hi, Janie. Thank you for watching. Happy Sunday. Okay, so we'll glue this one down as well. I guess I'm glad that Jamie doesn't, Jamie, my Jamie, doesn't wear makeup on a daily basis because it makes her appear younger than she is, I guess. I don't know. Then when she gets all dolled up and, and, um, uh, has makeup on I'm like ah stop growing up she's a sophomore this year and I feel like I only have her for two more years and then she's gonna leave me okay we're making progress I don't know if I'm staying in camera view for you guys again I've got to get used to this new camera but I will tell you my internet is fabulous it's running so quick and that is because we got a new router and a new modem. <laughs> when the guy came to replace it, he was like, oh yeah, mm, we don't, yeah, we don't set those up anymore. Those are old. I'm like, awesome. And this one I can do on the back of the paper because again, there's no pocket on this last piece. So just making sure my words are the right direction, I can just glue this down. But if you were going to make this pocket for that last piece, you remember you could cut off that flap instead of gluing it down. And you'd have a pocket and you would just glue it like I did the others. So there's that. Let's go ahead and put our um, letters down. I'm going to use Fast Fuse because it's a really strong adhesive and I know that they aren't going to go anywhere. So we've got H. I love that this is the O. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's those little things that I like. <laughs> she is beautiful without all the makeup. I'm just saying that with the makeup, she looks really grown up and it makes me sad. <laughs> and I will say I did the makeup myself. I was super proud of myself. She doesn't even own makeup, so we had to like go and try to match her color and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. <clears throat> it was kind of comical trying to get the makeup on her and having her like um, stay still long enough so I could put the mascara on and stuff because she really doesn't know how to put makeup on, which I'm totally fine with. Don't, you know, again, she doesn't need it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. I have um, some Flirty Flamingo scraps. I'm gonna cut out two of the ribbon, two of the little ribbons. Um, I have uh, some of the polka dot paper that I'm going to um, cut out some of the little hearts. Let me find the polka dot ribbon, or ribbon, why did I say ribbon? I mean, this is that um, designer series paper, the brights with the stripes and polka dots, it's super cute. So I have this, oops, I have this one. So we can do some bigger polka dots or I have a little strip of the smaller polka dots. 
I think maybe we'll keep the smaller because it'll match the polka dot, um, what is that, banner or whatever that is. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I think I want to cut out a flower, but I want to do it in the darker pink as well because, again, we're using just the lighter pink in the background. So we'll do a darker flower this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the big shot back in and we'll cut pieces for the last time. Okay, so we've got our small heart and our little ribbon. Oh, we need our flower too. With the shellac nail polish, like my nails are thicker and I can't pick anything up. <laughs> I'm a mess. There's a downfall to having cute nails, I guess. Can't have it all. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this flower and two, come on, there we go. Cut the flower, cut the ribbon, and where's my striped paper? There it is. We'll go ahead and cut the hearts as well. We'll try to get all of that cut at the same time. Magnets, no shifting. Okay, let's run this through. So my Cowboys play today, I'm excited. They play the Redskins. So I'll be watching football later on and getting ready for my retreat. I have a lot of work to do on my creative, um, my holiday crafters retreat. I'm excited for that. So registration closed yesterday for that. And um, we got a lot of prep work to do. So we are gonna get busy on that. I need to get all the stuff ordered and prepped. It's a lot of work, but it's gonna be freaking awesome. Can't wait. It's never ending with me, I tell you what. <laughs> the Broncos won. Did they play today? Did they play already this morning? Were they in London? One of the early games? Or did they play Thursday? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't kept up. Okay. So, go ahead and move this guy out of the way. So we've got, let me put my framelit pieces away so I don't lose them. All right, so let's bring this back out. We've got two little ribbon, like so. We've got this pretty little flower we can do here. And then we have these cute little hearts. So we can do one on each corner. We can even do another one if we wanted to. Or we could do, I think the last one I did, I did like two on the top and one on the bottom, but I didn't cut, I didn't cut as many this time, but I think that'll be good. And then again, we'll do a little rhinestone there. Um, one of the pink rhinestones. But you can see, um, you can do a lot of fun things with this. And it's just so pretty. So put our little flower there. This would be a good Valentine set too, with all the hearts and stuff. Because there's the, um, oops, that was a lot of glue. If I slide it, I can hide it, there we go. Um, sending love and hugs. That would be a good one for your long distance relatives for Valentine's Day. There is glitter everywhere, I want you to know. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's glitter all over my hands. <laughs> this glimmer paper sure does shed, doesn't it? So now I'm going down the little ribbons on the back, on the edges, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of hard to get this whole project in the camera. It was hard photographing it too. So there we go. So I've got the finished product. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? And I love that paper. That paper worked out perfectly. Um, the Tropical Chic paper. And then you can put a little message here. Oh, so let me show you the idea for that. Let's go ahead and cut a piece of Whisper White. So let's say we wanna put a message inside. I'm gonna cut it down to 
I can do actually a four and a quarter by five and a half because that's what fits in an envelope, right? It's a standard card size is four and a quarter by five and a half. It fits in perfectly like so, see that? Slides right in there. We could even cut it down smaller if we wanted to. But you could do a message, a sentiment, something, you can write that and then it fits in perfectly. And then what you can do so they know that it's, um, that there's something there is you can take a piece of this ribbon and I'm going to cut it off camera because it's on the wall. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this ribbon and you could even, Oh, look at that. You could even make it like it's a, like it's a cancer ribbon and you can put that here so that when it's in here, they can just pull it. So I'm going to staple that. Just got my little stapler. I was talking to my team on Wednesday. I need to get one of those little craft staplers that have the little staple. Um, but so there you go. Oh, I'm going to have to, I didn't think about this. Now it's not going to close. Never works the first time I try it. Let's see, because I stapled it so far. Let me get a new piece of paper. Let me try this again. It's going to have to be really close to the... Um, the staple's going to have to be really close to the edge because there's not a lot of space. So I've got a piece here. See how it's going to be like right on the edge? Because otherwise it won't fold. So let's... Where's my ribbon at? There it is. It's stapled. Yeah, I could cut it a little off of the paper or I'm just gonna start again and staple closer to the, um, staple closer to the edge this time. So here's my little ribbon. And now we have to do it real close. And what you can do too is, I'm gonna show you, you can use a little glue dot to kind of hold everything down while you staple. So let's get a glue dot here. I always use glue dots when I'm dealing with ribbon. Glue dots are the perfect adhesive for ribbon. And I think what I wanna do is I want to um, twist the ribbon so that it's all the same direction. So see what I mean there? Like it's going to lay flat like this. So got that and then I'm going to put that on a glue dot and put that on the side like so and then when I staple I'm gonna staple super super close to the edge <clears throat> so that the card will slide right in and we won't have a problem folding <laughs> in theory oh my glue dots in the way uh, you never know. Now I've got to move my glue dot. I'm just going to slide it, push it. We're just going to push it back. There, I think that's far enough. There we go. There, okay, so then, see that? And then they can just pull out the card. Very cool. Okay, so there's your little card and it folds right up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta embellish our little flower with another one of these rhinestones. Oh yeah, half of, okay, that's true. See, Terry, the album expert. Thank you for giving us a better way to do that because my way was not working. <laughs> Or even the circle tab. You didn't have to do ribbon, you could do a circle tab, but you would have to fold that circle tab because again, this card folds, but I think the ribbon works really well. Just probably a smaller stapler would have been like, you know, a smaller little staple. But there you go. Got our little bling, we got our pretty card wrapped up. And honestly, it looks like we, you know, did a ton of work and it took us a ton of time, but it took us what, less than an hour? It's so cute. And anyways, if you share my 
Well, if you enter my raffle, you could win this beautiful ribbon. So make sure you go onto my blog, share my, share my, or share, go on my blog and enter the raffle. You can get the ribbon and share my video and you could win one of the paper pumpkin stamp sets. Stop moving. My camera is just all kinds of shaky today. Oh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, today's project. I hope you will um, think of someone who may be um, a survivor or someone who's struggling with it and you will honor them. Send them a nice little card. Tell them that you're thinking of them. Tell them how strong and brave they are. Um, sometimes we just need those special words of encouragement. What, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> special words of encouragement. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> I'm really tired, obviously. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. Have a fabulous week. And we'll see you next week for the last week before Halloween. Yay! Bye, everybody. Have a fabulous day.